Three years ago, there was the, uh, a major mine disaster uh, called the Sago Mine Disaster when 13 miners went in and there's a, a collapse and um, they were exposed to a carbon monoxide atmosphere for 41 hours. No human being had ever been exposed to that much carbon monoxide for that long a period of time. When they finally broke through the mine and pulled out the one miner who was still alive and just barely alive, there he was. That was Randall McCoy. When they pulled him out of the mine, he had a kidney failure, liver failure, heart failure, and most importantly, he had brain failure. In fact, that's his brain right there, and there is no white matter in the brain to speak of. It had been destroyed by inflammation, being exposed to that carbon monoxide for 41 hours. So Randall's uh, prognosis was, you know, slim and none. His neurosurgeon called me up right after they pulled him out. He said, I believe in fish oil. How much should we give him? Well, I said, you're going to give him a lot. I said, he said, well, how much? I said, about 15 grams a day. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot. I said, he's not going to die. I guarantee you. Because we'd already done studies with kids with ADHD. And they were doing fine at that level. He said, okay, we got nothing, nothing to do but try. So for the next two months, they fed basically a random McCoy 15 grams of fish oil every day through his feeding tube. And two months after he came out of the mine, he came out of his coma. Kept on feeding the fish oil. And two months after that, he went home. And here's some of the commentators. It would be Sanjay Gupta or Anderson Cooper say, it's a medical miracle. Well, uh, that's fine in the 12th century, but we live in the 21st century. It wasn't a medical miracle. It was aggressive use of basically nutrients to reduce inflammation in the brain in the heart, in the liver, in the kidney. And here's Randall uh, about uh, two months later after that. And there's uh, Randall and his wife, who was pregnant at the time, along with Julian Bales, who was a neurosurgeon, and myself. And basically, he was in pretty good shape. The fact they had a healthy child, now they've had two, says everything seems to be working pretty well. So it wasn't a medical miracle. It was basically a very lucky phone call I got from Julian to say how much fish oil and what quality fish oil should I use to rebuild his complete body from the brain to the heart to the liver to the kidney.